For this draft, every line and defensive pairing have to be real life teammates. I'm trying to think if it's possible to get two goalies from the same team. That might be a little bit tough. I'll try my best. I have done a draft similar to this in that the next pick had to be a current or former teammate. But for this one, the whole line has to be real life teammates. So let's find out what team we are going to be using. It is the Columbus Blue Jackets. Again, I swear we get the same teams over and over again. I'm starting to think that randomness does have memory and does have favorites. Absolutely not. No. CPU traits? Nope. Nope. No. And Jabroni? No. See this right here? How about that, Jabron? What are you going to do about it? I feel like in order to succeed at this draft, you have to be very strategic. And I don't think I'm going to do that. But <laughs> hopefully we can still find a way. I think we're going to get draft pick... Number 11. 28? Come on, man. Actually, I am going to open up a notepad here just so that I can keep track of everything that's going on. I mean, I guess I could just go to drafted players, but it's much easier to just do that. You know what I'm saying? I could try to make a lightning line. Stamkos and points. If I take point now, Stammy should still be there. Center slash right wing. Center slash right wing. Okay, so we are going to do that. I'm going to go with Pointer. Please, nobody take Stamkos. He's gone. That was a lot of picks, actually. Oh, he's still there. How about that? All right, we are going to have a lightning first line. Technically, I don't have to draft the other Tampa Bay player right now. So I'm going to hold off. We will hopefully find a left winger eventually. We need to, as a matter of fact. I'm going to take Philip Ronick now and then hope we can get Ian Cole later on. To be our first defensive pair, maybe not super ideal, but at 4.4 and 87 overall, hard to say no to that. So welcome to the squad. I could try to make an LA line. Fiala will have more. Kempe? We could try it out. Okay, so I'm going to try to just draft that line as our next three picks. So we'll start off with Fiala. Okay, there it is, Adrian Kempe. He's got two abilities as well. That is perfect. And then we just need a right winger. Philip Deneau right there as well, but... I think we should go with more. Oh man, there's also I have follow. But yeah, I feel like we just need a right winger. So I, no, I'm going to stick with Trevor Moore. And there he is making 1.8. Very ideal for our current situation. Let's make it happen. I wonder if I could make a Leafs line. Get Max Domi. I could commit to it right now by choosing him. Yeah, let's try it. 83 is probably not ideal for a starting goalie, but... I think we can make it work. Hopefully. <laughs> Let's go with Corpisalo. And then if we get Forsberg as the backup, we got two Ottawa goalies. You know what? Let's make a Smashville fourth line with Novak in the middle. We do only have one defenseman at the moment. So I'm going to go with White Cloud for the second defensive pairing. And his defensive partner will be Alec Martinez. I'm also just going to draft Cole right now so we can get that out of the way. Maybe not the most ideal first liner in the world, but Sherry just recently signed with the Tampa Bay Lightning. So he's going to be playing with Pointer and Stamkos. Gotta be Max Domi's line mate. Ryan Reeves, get on the team. Kelly Yarncrook will finish off the Maple Leafs third line. 81 overall, 2.1. We still have 25 mil of cap. Okay, we're chilling. Anton Forsberg is still here. So I'm just going to go ahead and knock that one off the list as well. So now all we need are two wingers that play for Smashville and a defensive pair. We're ready to rock and roll. Well, I have Nashville's roster open, and I think I committed to the team just because Novak seemed like such a good pick at the time. I'm not saying I regret it, but I kind of regret it, you know what I mean? Okay, we got one. Defensive category is pretty good. Colton Sissons will be joining the roster. This man's was recently signed by the Smashville Predators. He's also a grinder, 77 overall. He will be the final piece for our offense. I feel like I could make a Buffalo defensive pair. So let's go with Eric Johnson. Boom. Last but not least, we will be adding Riley Stillman to be Johnson's defensive partner. I think our team is actually pretty good. So here is our overview. I'm going to have to edit the lines, I imagine. It's not going to perfectly put everybody in place but that's not a big deal again I feel like our weak point might be goaltending where we have 83 82 but I think they could definitely get the job done if the team is good enough in front of them 
I feel like our team isn't that old either, which could be a benefit because the players could progress as the season goes on. But it is time for the moment of truth. I'm going to go to the roster moves first, though, to make sure I send down anybody that shall not be here, such as you and you. See you later, buckos. And now it is time to edit the lines, which doesn't even matter what we see here because it's going to be changed. The head coach, blah, blah, blah. No, don't you dare. Okay, so... Domi, you got to come down here. Novak is going to be on the fourth line. And who's on the first line? We got to have Connor Sheary up here who brings it down to a zero. That is very unfortunate. And we need Fiala to be on the second line. So that is a great second line, but still gets a dash one. We got to bring Reeves up, Yarn Crook up. Okay, at least it's all zeros. So we've got a Tampa Bay first line, an LA second line. Our third line is the Toronto Maple Leafs, and our fourth line is the Nashville Predators. Defensively, we have... Oh, that hurts a little bit. Actually, a lot of bit, but you're coming up there, and it is still a dash three. Oh, no. I can make it a dash two if I promote these guys all the way up to the first line, but I'm not doing that. I, I don't get it. Why is this so bad? Is our coach just not... Gelling with the defense whatsoever. Our goaltender tandem is the Ottawa Senators. And defensively, yeah, we have Vancouver, Golden Knights, and Buffalo. But what is up with this? Oh, of course, we get a veterans head coach. Thanks for that. 45% team fit? Seriously? I'm going to leave him for now just because he is an A, but... I don't know how long he's going to last. The second I see another team can their coach, I'm going. I say we do make the playoffs. I think we're going to get 46 wins. And I believe Braden Point will have the most points with 87. Oh, dear. Um, That's not a good start. Thankfully, we are bouncing back a little bit here. But that was scary. Somebody please fire your coach so I can go and scoop them up and get rid of our guy with a 45%, like that's terrible. Every single time a pop-up comes on the screen, I'm hoping it's gonna be a coach, but it hasn't been yet. To be fair, the lads are still doing all right with this coach, but I mean, it could be better, I feel like. Is there really not gonna be any teams canning their coach? There's gotta be somebody. Come on now, smarten up. Nobody fired their coach, not one team. I'm going to keep our current trading block. We are third in the Metro at the moment. But let's enter here and see what we've got. So, I was actually going to make a Carolina defensive pair. But by that time, it was too late. So, could have been nice. But anyway, Pelic and Pulock could trade for an Islanders defensive pair. But no, I think we are going to keep our team as it is. Oh, we're second. Even better. But it is post-trade deadline time. So, we really got to do well here. The division seems to be quite intense. Not a lot of points separating the teams. And we have a pretty good start out of the gate there. Nice. Okay. That's not good. That's also not good. Guys, smarten up here. That's four losses in a row. Yes. Big win. Nice. That's huge. Okay. We are now up to 41 wins. Where are we in the division? Fourth. Back up to second. Jeez. Yeah. We are just hopping around in this division. And we get 44 wins. And make it. Oh, I think we were pretty much good anyway. But yeah, look at There is a three-way tie with 94 points. And Carolina had 96. This division was tight. Your President's Trophy winners, the Toronto Maple Leafs. Let's see. We've got Marty Natchez playing with Tuck and Arvidsson. Milano, Verhage, and Trocek. Murray and Nett with... Oh, Gibson. Okay. Miro and Wierenski. Once again... I will continue to say it. I don't understand this game, and I never will. Golden Knights finish second. Let's see what's going on here. Dreisaitl with Sprong and Caulfield. Okay. Vladar and Netty and Net. John Carlson playing with Siegenthaler. Their team seems pretty good. We finished 11th. The 14th place Sharks do not get in, and the 20th place Boston Bruins sure do. It's always crazy when that happens, but I feel like we've seen much lower than 20. Detroit finishes dead last. They had Nuge playing with Pasta and Parise. They ended up grabbing Ayafalo, who played with Tomasino and Goudreau. Colin Miller, aka Threes, playing with Mori. 
Jari and Nett. I don't know. That doesn't seem like a last place team to me, but I feel like I say that every time. Stamkos and Point were going head to head right here. 75 and 74. 32 tucks for Stamkos though. He is a sniper, right? No, he's a playmaker. Okay, so we got two playmakers there. Fiala ended up with 54 points. We see 45 from Shiri. Kempe had 44 and more with 42. Kale, had a boy. Goaltending wasn't an issue. 918 and a 273 from Jonas, and then a 922 and 256 from Anton. That's very solid. Definitely did not get a lot of points from our defense, but I feel like that was expected. Philip Ronick went up one overall, I believe. Beautiful. Sergei Bobrovsky is up at the top with 40 dubs. He had a 907. Kachekov, number two. And he had a 912. Very solid. Gibson pulling a 922. I mean, yeah, the team did win the President's Trophy. That checks out. Defense. We've got Fox over point a game. 70 points from Hamilton. Kale and Hughes both put up 66. 91 is the highest, really? Okay, we get... 51 apples and 40 tucks from Bradley. And then we get 90 points with 50 goals for Matthews. Looks like he wins the Rocket Richard. And the Art Ross obviously goes to Marchi. Just double check it. Yep, McDavo's right there though. He had 49. I had no idea that Marshawn was taken in the third round. You learn something new every day. Is that information that I'm going to retain? Probably not. Alrighty, it is playoff time. Let's sim past the first round and see how we're doing here. That is a horrendous start. Oh no. Okay, we didn't get swept. At least we got one game in there. Makes me feel a little bit better. Not great, but just a little bit better. And Carolina goes on to win the Stanley Cup. How about that? Tucson takes home the Calder. Braden was over point a game for us in the playoffs, so that's nice. Stamkos right there with four. Colton. Let's go. Not great goaltending, but I feel like he probably didn't get much support. From the defense. Although Hronik did have three points. And we got two from White Cloud. Darcy Kemper rocking a 928. That is amazing. And a 215 GAA. He wasn't point a game in the playoffs. But still performed amazingly. 16 in 21. And then we've got Hampus Lindholm who put up 12 in 19. Tony and Vince Dunn both put up 11 in just 12 games. And your Con Smythe winner Jordan Kairou. Who put up 29 points in just 19 games. Matthews is right there with 26, so I guess these guys were line mates. Nate Mack had 21 playing 19 games as well. Johnny Goudreau also had 21. I wonder which one was on the first line. Was it Barabanov or was it Connor Brown? It's probably Connor Brown. And let's confirm that. Carolina, the team that won our division. What? Tolvanen was on the first line. Barabanov was on the second line. And Connor Brown was on the third. It's about that time. Awards. We already know all the team awards, essentially, except for maybe this one. Minnesota made it to the finals. Marchand with the art and the heart. Fox gets the Norris and the Lady Bang. Out of boy, Adam. Veneers with the Calder. Kairou gets the Con Smythe. Markstrom will take home the Vesna. And we get the Jennings going to the pair of Gibson and Murray. McNabb scores the Masterton. Brulee gets the Jack Adams. Barkov takes home the Selkie. Marchi with the Lindsay and Matthews gets the Rocket Richard. Here is your playoff tree. Carolina breezed through. Holy crap. I guess they only played 19 games. Yeah, but three losses the entire playoff run. 16 and three. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you could leave a like, that'd be greatly appreciated. Other draft and video ideas, leave them down below. There's a good chance I'll end up using them. And yeah, just thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you're feeling up to it. I will see you soon.